If the words baka matai or dame dane don't ring a bell, maybe this video will. This is a meme that's getting popular again, but with a slight twist. All the videos are deep fakes. People are editing these videos to make it look like the characters are actually singing the lyrics to the song Baka Mitai, which is a karaoke song from the video game Yakuza. Making one of these deep fakes and overlaying audio is not as complicated as you may think. So in this video, I'll take you through the whole process step by step. There are other tutorials on YouTube that I've seen where some of the parts are left out, the subtleties that are really important to get right in creating these kinds of deep fakes. You don't need to have prior coding experience. We are going to be using a coding script in Python that uh, is on the internet thanks to Homemade Memes, a channel on YouTube, and I'll put the links in the description bar below to get started on this. We're also going to be making some final touches to images and just preparing everything and finishing up the videos in Kapwing, which is our free online editor. So just go to step one and I'll meet you there. Okay, so to make this meme slash deepfake, it might seem complicated when I put all these steps in front of you and the fact that there's like a Python code script involved. It's not super complicated. So just hear me out listen to these instructions, and you have to be pretty careful with a couple things. So these are the general steps, and I'm gonna go through them one by one in detail. So basically what we're going to be doing is taking an image, which is the thing you wanna turn into a deep fake. So whether that's an image of another meme or like a person or a, a famous person or a person in your life, that's the image you're turning into the deep fake for the meme. So this, code script is going to take that image and be trained on this template video of someone actually singing the lyrics and it's going to combine those factors to create the image singing the lyric looking like it's singing the lyrics first you're going to need your target image so this is the image you want to turn into the deep fake you need to make sure that it's 256 by 256 pixels in dimension though Otherwise, it won't work. So I'm in my in Kapwing editor, kapwing.com slash studio. And all the links that all of these instructions, all the links will be in the description box below. So check them out. So I'm going to go to the studio. And this is just where I'm going to resize the initial target photo. Um, I'm going to start with a blank canvas. And you can actually search for images within Kapwing itself. Um, so I'm going to try and do the sad Linus meme. So I'm going to use this guy's face. And first thing you want to do is resize the canvas. So just click the canvas itself, then click custom size and say 256 by 256 and click done. So now this canvas is sized the way we need it to. And you are going to want to resize your photo to fit the screen. So I've noticed that this uh, algorithm works best with faces of people who are just like yeah kind of like in the middle of the screen where the features are smiling a little bit maybe but mostly straight faced so the AI can be trained obviously you can use whatever photo you want but if it if you want to make it more look more realistic I would suggest using a photo that's kind of like a straight faced or very just like very clearly in the center. So that's all you have to do for this step. Um, we're going to just go click publish and that will basically process the image for downloading. So then you just want to hit download and we can see that it's downloaded here. So that's the first step. I'm going to go back to the instructions. So then go to your Google Drive and create a folder make sure it's called first dash order dash motion dash model. So it has to be called that exact thing. And so I already made this folder. Make sure it's also in your drive. Like don't file it into other folders. Just go to your drive and make this folder and call it that exact thing. So the first thing you're going to need to do here is add these two tar files. And these are files that will help the AI in the code script later. So you can find these files in the description box, as I said, so it's tar file one, tar file two. If you click them, 
they go to this website where it's just basically to transfer files. So just click download on both of them and then it'll download to your computer. And then when you get to the drive, just upload those files. So these tar files and uh, in addition to the Python code script and the tutorial I used to even figure this out, um, they're all thank you to ho this channel on YouTube called Homemade Memes. I'll definitely link the original tutor tutorial in the description below, but yeah, this tutorial and script is awesome. So thank you so much to um, Homemade Memes for making that. So once you've uploaded your two tar files, the next file you're gonna need to upload is this template video. So this video is just the someone singing the song Baka Mitai, but with no audio. So when I tried the running the script originally with this clip, but it had audio, it didn't work for me. And I think it worked for other people. So if you just wanna get the original uh, video of this, you can just search this with the with template on the end on YouTube and you'll come up with this video. Uh, you can use that, but I found it didn't work unless I muted it. So this video doesn't have audio. All you have to do is click download and then go to your drive and upload it. Then the last thing you need to upload into this drive is your photo that you just, the photo that you just resized. So this photo, just go to your drive again and upload it to the folder. So the next step is that you have to rename these files to these exact titles. So this is the image it must be renamed to o2.png. And then for the template video, rename that to o4, like 04.mp4. Awesome. So now your Google Drive folder is complete. Going back here, the next step is to open the Python code script. So yeah, again, homemade memes channel on YouTube, go check them out. They're the responsible for creating this script. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do here is copy this line exactly and paste it in at the start of the first code block. And then once you've pasted it there, hit this play button and click run anyway. And this is basically running. So each of these blocky things is a, co a code block and you're just running each block. Also be patient with this. Sometimes it'll take a little while, like some of the, some of the later steps might take a little while for this script to run. So it will tell you, it'll be pretty obvious if there's an error, like this button will be red and you'll see the error messages in red. So that one's done. Then click this play button for this line. And once it stops like doing the loading circle, that's how you know it's done. Now you need to connect your Google Drive in this step. So so I, th I already authorized my Google Drive because um, I did this before, but all you do is go to click this URL and then you'll choose which account that you put which Google account you put the folder in that you just made. So make sure it's that account. And then you have to click allow and then copy this exact text. And there will be like a text box here. Um, just paste that text and hit enter. And as I said, I already did this. So that's why mine looks a little bit different, but then click play. So this step, it says add folder to your Google Drive. You don't need to do that. I didn't do that. And it, I think just to show you, this is, they're just fo photos that the AI, the algorithm is going to be trained on. Once you get to this block, just go ahead and click play. And it, this one will take a little while to load, but just be patient. Okay, so this is what it will look like after this code block loads. It's basically your picture 
that you uploaded along with the template video. And uh, I don't think I mentioned this before, but the both the image and the video have to be 256 by 256 pixels. So um, I mentioned this for this image, but the template video also needs to be those dimensions. Um, and if you downloaded it from this link, the one I linked in the description box, then it, it'll be those dimensions, but just, just be aware of that. So after that, load this one, click the play button here. So once the loading sign stops, that's when you know it's done. It won't print out any text. So you just have to watch out for that. Then just go ahead and click play on this code block. And this one will have a loading bar. So that's how you know how far along it is. But this one will also take a little while. Okay, so our deepfake has finished loading. And <laughs> as you can see, this is on the right is the deepfake. So basically, turn this image into something that had this motion and this is the result. So it's not too bad. I mean, obviously you can tell it's not completely real, but it's pretty accurate and uh, amusing. It looks like he's singing the lyrics at least. So to save just the video of that we want, the deep fake, um, go ahead to the right, to the left side, click files and then double click generated.mp4 and it should immediately start downloading the, the video that we want. And then I'm just gonna refer back to these instructions. Okay, so I guess the way that this, the video is produced, uh, it's, you need to actually speed it up by 3x to get it to the speed that we need for the audio. So you can do this in Kapwing. You can just go to kapwing.com studio again, just make a new project. Um, also make sure you sign into your account so no watermark is added and that's you can do that for free um, but you're basically gonna want to upload the file the video file that you just made so it'll pull that video right in and to speed it up just go on the right side here and so you need to speed it up 3x unfortunately we don't have the 3x we only have two and four as you can see. So just speed it up two times, publish it, and then we'll go back in and speed it and then speed it up 1.5 more times. And that will make it 3x. Okay, so this video has been sped up two times. You're going to want to take the link again and then make a new make a new project and just paste that link and then speed it up 1.5 times. There you go, and then just click publish again. Okay, so now that you've sped up your video three times, it should be at the right speed, and this is the very last step, you're almost there. So just go to the template linked below. This template, um, we have made, it's got the audio, the song already added onto it. So all you have to do is like upload your video into the template. Just go ahead and click make it and then copy the, the URL link to the video that you sped up. Um, this is how you can like move videos between Kapwing projects. Copy that link and go back to the template and then upload and paste the link here. And as you can see, it grabbed that video and you can just delete the video underneath it and the audio is already attached, as you can see here. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Cool, so that is it. We just made the deepfake and we added the music onto it through this template. All you have to do to finish off is click publish and this is your video is just processing it's not actually being published anywhere um, it's just processing so be patient with that once your video is finished processing it should take you to this page and it's the same video that you just made and to save this file to your computer you can just hit download and it automatically downloads uh, the video um, but you can always just share using these embed buttons um, copy the link to it and it'll take other viewers right to this exact page. So I hope this video is helpful for everyone. If you run into problems, let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you out. Um, again, thank you to 
homemade memes uh, on YouTube, the channel that supplied the code and the other files that we used. Um, but yeah, check out all the all the files will be in the description box below. So make sure you're following those instructions and let us know what other videos you want to see. See you in the next one. Yeah.